Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef. My name's Ross and in this video, it's finally here, the new tank has arrived. Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Like I said there, my name's Ross, this is Bearded Reef, and yeah, this video is quite a big one for me anyway. Um, if any of you have followed the journey up to this point, you'll know that the little peninsula tank that sat here has been moved over the other side of the room, and I've ordered a new tank to go in this space here. So this week was the week, and the tank's finally arrived, so fantastic news there. Um, it did arrive when I was away at work, so anyway. It's here, it's took a long time um, through several different issues but it's finally here so um, I have ordered the water box uh, Marine X 60.2 sorry I was going to say Peninsula Mini there I'm too used to saying that on the channel but Marine X 60.2 is what the new tank is so it's here um, it's been delivered now before we jump into this I do want to show you guys something cool that happened this week now this week I was actually away um, at the weekend there we had a kind of long weekend um, it was my birthday this week and I was also working away from home so been a very very busy week this week haven't had a chance to do much, that's why the tank still hasn't been set up yet. Um, it's obviously going in this space here where this desk is, this desk has been removed and the new tank's going to go in here. So that's hopefully going to happen um, probably over the course of the next week or so. I'll film that and put it up now. You guys let me know what you want with this. Do you want me to go into detail like I did to do with the Peninsula Mini or do you want me to kind of skip through bits and do it that way? Just let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously it's a sump set up which I've never had before so I'm looking forward to doing that. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to show you something first that I got. So this is what I got here. Um, now I got this from, again, Instagram called Reef Dabbler. Um, Richard's his name. And he makes up these, I don't know what you call them, light up LED logos as such. So he done this one. It's kind of hard to show you with the fact that I've got my, my light behind it, but it's got my logo on it. It lights up. Um, you have it all different colors. You can change the settings on it. Now, I've got batteries in this one, you can actually use the USB cable, so he sends a USB cable out with that as well, um, and it changes colours, so you can choose what colours you want for it. Um, it also comes with this little remote here, so you can change the colours to what you want. Now, I quite like, um, I think it's that kind of turquoise colour there. But yeah, really nice, um, you can have it changing through all different settings, but... That's that one. So a massive thank you to Richard Reef Dabbler for that. I'll put all his details down um, in the description below so you can see that. I'll just set that up there, I think. Um, and you'll be able to see that out. So if you want one of these with your own logo on it, you can get them made. They're £15 plus postage, I think. Um, so get in touch with Richard Reef Dabbler. I'll put all the, the information in the details below so you'll be able to see that in the description and get in touch with him. Well, well worth getting one of these. They're so cool. Um, it just kind of sets off the tank that bit, I think. So the new tank comes, that'll be part of that. But yeah, massive thank you to him for that. If you want one, go and get them. So anyway, let's dive into it. So the tank's here. Now, it has took a relatively long time. I think it's nine or ten weeks it's took for the tank to come. Um, there was a few issues along the way, different delays and so on. I'm not going to get into that. We've covered that in a previous video. But it's here now anyway. Now, like I said, I was at work at the time. Um, so the tank was delivered and the guy actually brought the lorry into the street brought the tank down the driveway and in the garage so thank you to delivery company for that that was quite a, a nice touch i was kind of wondering if it was going to be a curbside drop off and it'd be left out in the street but no he actually brought it in the garage so um that was fantastic yeah i'll drop in a little couple of clips here that i've got like i say the tank hasn't been set up yet i'm not going to do a generic kind of unboxing thing as such um it's going to be kind of difficult but like i say over the next week when i'm setting the tank up i'll do some videos of that show you i might do one on building the stand and so on just so you guys can see that um, but I'm really looking forward to it, I think it'll be really good. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at with this one now anyway. Um, looking forward to it, I think it's going to be really, really good. But like I say, I'll drop in the videos here just to let you see where we're at so far with it anyway. Um, and you'll be able to see kind of what stage we're at, but we'll get things set up this week. Okay, so this is the stand and the tank here. Um, it's come in the box, obviously, as you can see, it's pretty dirty on the top. Uh, it must have been sitting in the warehouse for quite some time. But... Yeah, we can handle that. I'll just get that cleaned off before I bring everything in the house. But it does come, um, like I see on the pallet here, with 
the stand on the left and the tanks on the right there. So I haven't opened anything yet, we'll get the knife out, we'll get things opened up and try and show you this. Now, it's not the easiest thing to film and actually open at the same time. I'll try my best to do this here um, and show you what's what without actually cutting into the tank. It would appear this knife probably one of the bluntest knives that I even own, so probably not the best knife to have chosen for this, but anyway, we'll see what we can do. So, yeah, I'm just actually really glad it came. So like I said, this is the water box. Um, it's not, I keep going to say Peninsula Mini, it's not. This is the water box Marine X 60.2. So, ordered this a while back um, and finally here. So we'll get it open and we'll see what's inside. So I think this here is just some kind of protector over the top. Let's see if I can lift this off and see. I'll try to do this one handed, which is not very easy at all. There was some damage on the outside of the box, but fingers crossed, tank's okay here. So yeah, this is it. Um, comes actually quite well packaged. Shrink wrap, there is some polystyrene and so on to stop it getting damaged there. But yeah, um, looks really good. This is the first time I've seen it, so quite surprised how thick the glass is as well, actually. I was quite impressed with that. Um, it's, I think it's 10 mil, but compared to the Peninsula Mini, it looks pretty thick. So on top of the sump here, you have got, this is the, I think this is the return, the flexi return actually for the plumbing. Um, and then all the plumbing's in the overflow here. So I haven't took any of this out yet. And like I say, I'm just I'm showing you guys this, just it arrived basically. So I'll we'll show you that first. So I've lifted out the box with the sump here just to show you the actual tank, just to check everything was all right. So touch wood, everything's all right. Um, I haven't lifted it out of the box yet to see, but just a quick look anyway, and we can see what's inside. Um, like I said, I'm quite impressed with the build quality of this so far anyway. I know I haven't got it out, but we'll take a proper look when I get it out of the box anyway. Okay, so that's it. Um, not that exciting, I'm afraid. Like I say, this week's been extremely busy, so I haven't had a chance to really do much, but that's where the tank's at just now. So over the next couple of weeks, we'll get some videos of that. Now, I'm kind of conscious that I don't want to kind of focus the channel just purely on one tank. Now, I know the, the past year, the channel's kind of been focused on the Peninsula Mini. That's still running. It's going to continue to run. I'm not doing away with that. That's staying. Um, and I'll still do updates on that as we go. I'll also have the little Pico tank, which I'm going to be doing as well, so we'll do updates on that. The focus just now is going to be on the Marine X 60.2. So, really looking forward to that. I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. I hope you guys can support me on this journey as much as you have with the Peninsula Mini. And we'll cover all the tanks in it. So it's not going to be a replacement. It's, it's going to be an addition to the channel. So yeah, that's, that's really it for this one. Um, kind of conscious it's a short one, but I want to keep it short anyway. Um, there's no point in me blithering on about stuff that's not really relevant. So... Over the next couple of weeks, if you keep an eye on it, if you hit the subscribe button and there'll be bell notifications, you'll get told exactly when I'm uploading. Now, it is the same every week. It's Sunday at 6 o'clock UK time. Um, that's when I upload and that's when you're going to see it. So keep an eye out on that. Um, keep looking at the channel and you'll see as things progress. So I will do an update on the Peninsula Mini and I'll do an update on the Pico soon as well. Um, so you'll get them. But yeah, that's where we're at really. Now, don't forget, if you want to join in the Pico Challenge, just get in touch with me on Instagram and we can point you in the direction of that. We're doing a little challenge just between us. I think there's 20 or 25 of us now so far um, that are interested in it. It's just a couple of simple things. It has to be a self-build um, DIY tank kind of thing. You can buy a kit or you can build your own. As long as it's less than five litres in volume, um, not plumbed into external sumps and all that to try and get around it. Five litres in volume and you're good to go. So if you want to join in, get in touch on Instagram and you can get in on that. So yeah, um, that's really it for this video. I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep this one short. So... Hope you guys are all doing well out there. Hope you're all staying safe. Um, and yeah, looking forward to you joining me on this journey. So thanks very much, guys. Um, stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy the updates. Take care. Bye-bye.